What's up guys, it's your girl Trev and today we're gonna be asking me 23 questions to learn a little bit more about me outside of being your favorite Yard Talk co-host. Waffles, I eat waffles like the Eggo ones almost every day. Probably Spellman, I'm not sure if I could do the all girls thing but it seems like it's nice vibes there. Mm -hmm. It depends on the day and the vibes but most often it's cereal first definitely night owl i always go to bed between like 2 and 4 a.m then regret it when i have a 9 a.m class so honestly i don't know what jay-z could have to tell me that could be that groundbreaking 500k because he's not going to give me the 500k at the end of the day so 500k so most recently i've been doing sex education i finished that last night but now i'm trying to finish money heist so my honest and most frequent morning routine consists of me waking up rolling over checking twitter and instagram and gmail in that order and then after that i just kind of see where the day takes me but when i'm trying to be productive i roll over and like play a podcast to start the day but that's like one day out of the week so yeah window seat because i like a view i like to be able to like put my hand on the window and like look at the clouds and stuff like that and i also i don't like aisle seats because it feels claustrophobic there's people passing all the time flight attendants people going to the bathroom it just feels hectic i'd say my smile because on a day where i don't feel that good about myself or my appearance i just always know my smile is gonna carry so if everything else is lacking the smile will speak but now that we're wearing masks it doesn't really help so i don't know hate the club by kelani and that's specifically because in terms of like going out and having fun i don't like going to clubs and stuff like that i prefer chilling with my friends um doing something chill and like laid back clubs just scream sweat and claustrophobia to me once i received this bracelet with my nickname engraved like trev was in it from like an ex-boyfriend he was really nice even though we broke up you know he's a good guy you know i haven't been on many dates if i'm gonna be honest with you um, so I don't think I have an answer for that. I haven't been on many like official dates. If me talking to you about something that upsets me, if you take that as an attack, you clearly don't have any emotional intelligence. We, we can't converse. We can't continue. That I'm capable. I oftentimes psych myself out to doing things like really simple things. And I just remind myself that I do that all the time, you know, or I can do it. So I always say, Trev, you're capable. I don't remember chapstick for like when i just wake up lip gloss if i'm going somewhere with a small amount of people and i can like tape my mask down and let them see the you know the lip liner lip gloss combo yeah i don't know i don't have anything particular i kind of depends if i see something like cute on the menu i might want to switch it up but honestly i'm a i'll take a water type of girl i'll do that so like ranch i feel like that's a very basic answer to give but i like a good ranch i also like is it blue cheese i think it's blue cheese like when i get the cheesy bread from domino's you know love some blue cheese boy do i have a story for you so fun fact i used to be a spelling bee kid right and i lost on the word reconnoiter because i was mixing it up yeah i still don't know how to spell it and if i hear someone say the word if i read it it triggers me so honestly that question triggered me and i'd like to move on thank you so i mean i guess the right thing to do is to wear socks but if you can't that's okay i won't judge as long as your ankles aren't ashy or anything i won't judge um something to drink kind of like a nice little juice or something i'd probably get like some m ms i love peanut m ms like maybe like some gum or something because we like to have fresh breath around here yeah. i procrastinate way too much that kind of links back to the thing i said where i like psych myself out to like simple things so like i wish that i could like stop psyching myself out to stuff and just like going for it so i wish i could stop being such a good procrastinator i'm not really i feel like going to the movies is something you do with people you know well and you guys can just enjoy being in the moment if I'm going on a date with you for the first time, I want to like talk and get to know you. There's not really clothing items that piss me off, but you know what does piss me off? I hate mullets, like the haircut, and they've been having a comeback. I hate them. They don't look good on anyone. I don't care. You could be Miley Cyrus. It doesn't look good. Cut your hair. Do a bob. So I hope you guys got the chance to learn a few new things about me today, because just like Overlord by Thomas Hughes, I'm an open book. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
and <laughs> I'll put this back where it belongs. And I'm about to pass the mic to my girl, Lyric Amour. What's up, loves? It's your girl, Lyric Amour, and this is 23 Questions with Yard Talk. So at first, I was a poli sci major, and I realized that was not for me. So I became legal communications because it opened me up to classes like mock trial, which is beneficial because I want to be a lawyer when I get older. Currently, I'm watching Criminal Minds because it's just engaging to me, and most of the time I get distracted and end up not doing my homework. Y'all, I am 5'9", but every time I tell people my height, they think I'm 6'1", 6'2". Like, don't do me like that. 5'9". I live off campus in Northeast, the struggles of being a junior at Howard University. I stayed in the quad, Frasier 3, Oh yeah. So days where I don't have class, I usually wake up uh, probably around 12 o'clock, I text my roommates, see what they got going on, turn on some Netflix, and I usually FaceTime my friends. The next thing I know, it's like 9 p.m., and I get hungry, and I go find some food, and that's about it. Currently, I'm taking like 15 credits, you know. I won't go and get beat up by the semester, no. Blackburn is real cute. It's real nice, you know. I be feeling good when I'm at Blackburn, but Annex is open late, and I'm, I'm a late eater, so I might have to go with Annex. Don't judge me. Okay, if you would have asked me this question about three weeks ago, I would have said diversified. But I finally had Jerk at Night, y'all. Jerk at Night is the place to be, okay? Try it. Okay, so actually, I don't like milk, which means I don't eat cereal. But if I was to have a bowl of cereal, of course the cereal goes first. Duh. Well, because I live off campus and I did not bring my car, I wish I could teleport because these Uber prices is adding up and y'all, my pockets is looking a little bare. If I had one wish, it would honestly be to never have a bad hair day because doing my hair, y'all, is a whole struggle on its own and I get so annoyed. I would probably be in LA trying to be you know, an inspiring actress. I'd be a bartender throughout the days, make some money, and then I would end up on TV and on your movie screens. Before I graduate from Howard, I have to experience a brunch. I've heard it's what you're supposed to be doing and I haven't experienced that yet, so I hope I get to. Uh, actually, I don't like any animals. I don't like them at all. But if I had to choose, I would say a dog. If I could intern for any company, probably Vogue because one day I'm gonna be on the cover of their magazine, so why not, you know, get the inside look first? So I actually got a chance to interview Matthew Knowles, which is Beyonce's father. And I mean, he's not really that famous, but you know, by association, basically Beyonce. Okay, I wear a nine and a half or a 10 in women's. Yes, we have those sizes. Don't do us big feet girls, okay? I'm tall. Probably if they're sitting beside me and I'm hearing them smack on their food, because why would you choose to sit right beside me and do that, you know? today was a real sporty chill you know I love a cool nice graphic tee and I love some baggy pants you know but still got some designs with the white I got my forces because it's real chill and I have to tie my hair up y'all because baby she was looking a mess this morning and you know I had the little purse to add a little cute pizzazz on it my Crocs they're Always convenient, just slip them right on and go. Well, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, and I miss Bojangles and Cookout so much. Please, please, somebody send me it because I'm craving it badly. I'm also looking forward to actually going out with my friends and not just being on FaceTime with them, like actually going to see them and us going out, hanging out. Like, it's amazing. I missed it so much, and I'm glad to be back. The yard has always been the place to get to know each other, which is fitting because you all just got to know me a little bit more. It's your girl, Lyrica Moore, signing out. And now, I'm going to pass it to my girl, Ash Got Cash. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite yard talk host, Ash Got Cash, here on Georgia Ave, showing you a few places that you can spend a snack or a rag. I'm taking you around to some of my favorite spots. So please stay tuned while I answer 23 questions just for you. I would definitely have to say Insecure with Issa Rae, but a close second would have to be Queen Sugar because it keeps me on the edge of my seat. I'm in love with it. Definitely not. I'm not for those types of spots on Georgia Ave. I'm more of a U Street type of girl. I would definitely say Pure just because I've never been to El Rey, so can't relate, can't relate. I told you see me right here rocking mine. My dream job would definitely be a news reporter or broadcaster for a huge company like CNN. My best friend on campus would definitely have to be Ellie. She was my freshman year roommate in a triple. Shout out my girl because she's the only way I survived. 
My favorite food would definitely have to be tacos. Check out El Sol if you haven't already. It's definitely busting. I definitely have one that I can't share on camera. Uh, but the closest second would have to be running into President Obama while I'm here in DC. That would be amazing. My favorite thing on my bucket list would have to be visiting the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Um, I'm working on being fluent in French, so if you see me, wee oui, wee. Oui. Bonjour. Definitely Howard basketball. Their TikToks this season have been keeping me pretty interested. I would definitely have to say the Metro, just because it's underground and what's cooler than that. <laughs> my greatest fear would have to be a bug climbing in my ear. I know that's really weird and really specific, but it definitely scares me. Favorite actor, Angela Bassett. She's gorgeous, talented, smart, poised, everything I want to be. Definitely I Labs in the yard. Favorite building on campus, Founders. It's just gorgeous, especially when you're coming from fine arts. You can really see its beauty. Uh, Beyonce. She already did homecoming. Why not come here to the best homecoming? Um, Cali. I feel like it's so different and so chill and I can be really uptight. So I feel like it would give me such a different vibe. Hmm, Asada. A biography, autobiography. Would definitely have to be entrance to communications with I forget the professor's name, but her niece is Meg the Stallion. I think y'all know who I'm talking about. Favorite game, Mancala. I love that game. I would say Shein, because I'm definitely affordable and cheap. Um, I would definitely say during homecoming at Yard Fest, I got separated from my friends. I met this girl I did not know. She was with her friend. She took me to the bathroom with them. We talked, we had a great conversation. Never saw her again, but definitely added her on Facebook. So if you're watching this, I miss you. Favorite person would definitely have to be Chadwick Boseman. I met him after he came here to Scream 21 Bridges. He was so authentic and so amazing. Like, love his legacy, love his life. Um, after my graduate, I'm a pour up. And I'm going to do an Instagram caption that says, you know, you probably went to Howard knowing you, because I haven't done that yet. Favorite place to eat would definitely have to be San Copa or Bus Boys and Poets. I'm definitely basic. I'm not trying to go too far either. I was on my freshman year self that you should be convinced that where you are is where you're supposed to be. I know everyone at Howard says it, but what's for you will not pass you. Um, every setback is a set up for success. Thanks for walking through Georgia with me. I'm definitely about to grab a snack from St. Copa. I'll see you guys later. Signing off, Ash Guy Cash, favorite host. Peace.